Hi, welcome to Caliber Works. I will show you how to build a watch using very simple steps and for now a very humble combination of Swiss and Asian parts that you can easily buy from most online sources. I will start this first build with a skeleton clone of the 6498 model. In this case it is an Asian made ST36. In subsequent videos, I will show you much more challenging builds with a much higher quality and 100% Swiss made parts. So let's get to it. As you can see, the movement comes with a set of default hands and for some reason it didn't come with a hand for the seconds, but well, that's not an issue. In fact, it makes this step easier. I'm using my remover tools and covering the movement with a piece of plastic for the lack of a better option. Next time I will show you how to use a paper protector. To use these tools, we simply apply equal pressure on both sides and uh, voila, the hands pop right off. Watch out when removing the hands, sometimes a center pinion falls off, um, just make sure it's back in place and test it. This is the dial I have selected for this build. In this case, yeah, well, it was not cheap. <laughs> this is a 100% Swiss made dial specifically for this kind of skeleton watch. Um, I think the rose gold and black balance is gorgeous. Well, well, that's me. I'm sure you can find other models online to suit your personal taste. I mounted the dial on the movement to confirm how is it going to look like. I think it looks nice and the colors match. Now here's an important detail. For this particular movement, if you lose the hour wheel, it is very unlikely you can just go ahead and buy it without the movement online. The reason for that is this hour wheel is slightly shorter than the most common version sold online. So the one on the right is the correct one. Once the hour wheel is installed, you can clearly see where each hand will sit on the dial. To install the hands, I use Rodico to place them on the dial and then my watch hand fitting tool to put them in place. Best practice dictates that you place the hour hand at 12 and the minute hand at 6 o'clock. I'll show you how to install the second hands in a separate video since it requires a lot of skill and I'd like to show you with the appropriate level of macros. Well, hands installed. Now, before casing the movement, I give it a thorough clean with Rodico and the rubber blower to eliminate any lint or dust particles. Trust me, dust will find its way into the movement, the dial and the crystal if you're not careful in this step. We need to cut um, and file the stem that comes with the movement so we can make it fit with the custom crown. I put the stem into the movement to test it. Um, I did a few tests of camera and it fits. It is important to remember that there is a screw that secures the stem into the movement. It 
Installing the spacer ring uh, will help keep the movement in place. Please keep in mind to place the ring in the exact position I am showing you here, otherwise you will end up wondering why the crown is a stock or it will not turn at all. We are ready to secure the movement to the spacer ring by installing the movement holder clamps. As you see, I try to never use metal tweezers to handle parts to reduce the risk of scratches. Now I'm putting the screws in place. To give the watch a better chance to withstand water damage, I install a gasket uh, coated with water resistant solution that will be pressurized once the watch is fully closed. It is best practice to use a suction cup to handle the watch back, especially if it's an open back. One last test uh, for precision of the hands and we are good to finish the build. As I said at the start of the video, uh, this is an inexpensive build. Uh, therefore, I found a 22mm black rubber band with an easy install mechanism and a silver clasp. Um, I believe for this watch uh, is fit for purpose. And uh, voila, <laughs> we have a watch, the first of many, hopefully, to come in this channel. Um, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, watch out for my next projects and see you at the next build.